So, I'm Simon. Um, I'm uh, the maintainer of Nextcloud All in One. And yeah, I just wanted to uh, do a short presentation about uh, the project, what it can do, um, how you can install it, and yeah, it gives a short overview basically. So, first of all, uh, some words about me. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm Simon. I'm working for Nextcloud uh, since 2021. Uh, in engineering and design and do we, doing currently an internship uh, in design. Um, yeah, my username on GitHub is Simon. Um, next to all one, uh, the, the main concept of that is that it's uh, completely built around Docker. Um, it's, it's, it's basically inspired by projects like Protein and um, others. Um, yeah, and then the, the main advantage is that uh, only one container actually needs to be started by hand and then it does all of the rest. Um, and you basically also have a um, simple web interface uh, for managing your installation. Um, and then it automatically, automatically creates all the needed containers uh, by itself. Um, included features are, of course, Nextcloud, then um, Nextcloud Talk recording server, for example, Nextcloud Office, Claim IV for antivirus, full text search, and, and much more. One of um, the, the coolest features, in my opinion, are um, that it also bundles a backup solution, which is based on a bog backup, where you can actually backup the whole server, um, restore a specific snapshot, um, check the integrity, and even restore the whole uh, instance uh, on a new server from the backup. Um, and all of these things that are listed here are then basically uh, put into its own container, which, as I said, all one manages. And usually this would be a, quite a huge, um, like, um, a lot of complicated stuff to manage there. And um, that's yeah, what all one takes care of for you. And more details can be found at github.com slash nextcloud slash all one um, Then I made some... Uh, short uh, or show some uh, steps how to use it basically there. So the, the main advice from my side would be to actually visit github.com slash nextcloud slash all one. Um, but the general steps would be to actually install Docker first. Of course, then install all one with one command that is mentioned in the, in the readme. And then open the auto interface and the rest then is done from there. And I included a few screenshots, basically that is when you visit the, the interface the first time. Um, there you get a um, password to, to log into the interface. Um, then you log in. Um, by the way, this password is actually only shown the first time. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't make much uh, sense. And then um, you have the, the initial steps where you first of all type in a domain. A domain is required in order to make um, TLS work and is also required for uh, Nextcloud to um, be put into the trusted domains. Um, then uh, when you have configured everything correctly, like port forwarding um, usually, then you have this kind of um, f further steps where you can actually uh, then enable additional optional uh, add-ons and uh, change the time zone, for example. And then when you're done with that, you click on uh, Start Containers. And then it uh, downloads all the other images and starts the containers correctly in, in the correct way. Um, and then you have basically land at this page at some point after a few, few minutes. And uh, there you, you see that uh, some containers are still uh, starting. And then in the end, when everything is done, uh, you see this interface where you then directly get the um, the, the login credentials for Nextcloud itself. And then you can, for example, click on Open Your Nextcloud, and um, then, of course, you can uh, open your new Nextcloud installation. And there you can already see uh, also the backup and restore features then shown. Yes, but my advice, as I said, would be to follow the instructions at github.com slash nextcloud slash all-in-one. Thank you. And I hand over to Clementine.